everyone, Joel Hansen here. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a bit of a rough day. So I'll tell you about that in just a second. But today we are at the Houston Nigerian Festival, guys, which is super, super cool. Here to participate in their Jollof Rice Eating Contest. So Jollof Rice is a rice which is very popular in West Africa. It is essentially like rice cooked with like tomatoes, peppers, onions, some spices. Looks really nice. It's known for its bright signature red color. And uh, like I said, sometimes some vegetables in it eaten with a variety of different meats and stuff. It's Nigerian, Cameroonian, Ghanaian. Uh, but yeah, West Africa, lots of jollof rice. So guys, I don't know any details about the contest, but we will go in and find out. We gotta be there at 3.30. It is 3.12, I think you can see that. So we are just in time. Um, contest is at four. So I'll tell you a little about my day. So uh, first I got my belt stolen uh, at the gym. Fine, fair enough. The water stopped working at the gym, couldn't shower. Okay, fine, fair enough. But then guys, I just got involved, like I was I was just sideswiped in a hit and run incident. So after this, we're going to the police station and I like wind got paint thinner and I tried to basically see how much of the damage I could get off um, to see if I could like, you know, just, it was just a little bit of paint rub and it wasn't, there was definitely some damage, there's paint chips. Uh, it's all like, you know, scraped, he smeared he. My finger is raw from rubbing it. Um, I'll show you a picture real quick. A uh, couple pictures. So, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like big side swipe. And then all the, that's, yeah. Anyway guys, so I'm not excited to have to go deal with that to be honest with you. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna go file a police report after this guys, but, uh, it is what it is. So hopefully we can win this contest. If we do, we are gonna get $500, which right now would be really, really, really nice. Again, it's been a little bit of a rough day. My side is bothering me. I'm not trying to complain. I'm just keeping it real, guys. But at that, I'm gonna stop telling you about my day. I'm thankful to be here. So let's just go have some fun, seats of food, to get you some more details about the contest. Let's go eat some jollof rice. <laughs>
Hey everyone, welcome to Zidor. Today we're at the Nigerian Day of Houston, Texas, here doing the Jollof Rice Eating Contest. So the rules of the contest was a seven minutes all you can eat. The bowls were counted, that was the measurement. So like, you know, you could eat one bowl, two bowl, three bowls, etc. Um, interestingly, the bowls were not evenly packed. So some bowls, although they might have appeared like to be roughly the same size had a lot more rice than others so there definitely was a bit of inconsistency with that and they started us off all with one little water bottle like the one you see beside me there <laughs> They also gave us a cup, which you could pour that water bottle into like the gentleman did beside me. And then I brought the one other uh, taller water bottle with me as you know, there was no rules against bringing water, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, so definitely water was quite in limited capacity. And when asked for more, they said they didn't have any more. <laughs> And in fact, the guy beside me actually took my one water bottle, but I digress. So jollof rice, as we said, is kind of a tomato cooked and spiced rice. There definitely, uh, at least in this jollof rice, was quite a bit of a oil content. So it was definitely kind of rich, heavy, kind of like a fried rice in a way. Um, but again, with uh, tomatoes, a lot of different little vegetables, bay leaves, spices. There was definitely kind of some curries in there, some different chili peppers. I would say there was probably kind of some onions, some garlic, um, all kinds of different uh, flavors. Now, jollof rice doesn't have to be spice-y, it is spice-duh, but this jollof rice actually had a pretty good kick to it, um, especially, you know, when eating it in quite a large capacity. Um, so, you know, that we can just dove on into the rice. <laughs> So the grand prize was $500, which was for first place, and second place was going to get a prize of $100, so there's definitely a good stake. <laughs> It did cost $10 to actually enter the contest, which was uh, signed up online. However, even on the day of, I believe they actually took a couple, uh, you know, kind of contestants or participants. But if you kind of notice this bowl in front of me of rice, like I noticed just how big and how full that one was packed because even if it looked comparable, whatever they were scooping the rice with, like compressed it because the rice was moist, um, like wetted. So, uh, you know, in the certain bowls, it was a lot heavier, it was a lot more compressed, whereas in other bowls, it was fluffier. So it was, you know, strategically better just to eat like a smaller bowl rather than a bigger bowl, when in the end, it counted all for the same value, you know, of one bowl. <laughs> So at this point I started trying to watch the table, see everybody's doing, because this guy beside me is starting to gag and throw up from pushing himself so hard. <laughs> Now I did have a grape Kool-Aid uh, mixed up, but the gentleman said actually only like the clear water was allowed. Um, so no flavored drinks, just clear water, which hey, I mean, it was fine. <laughs> So being a few minutes in with a few minutes left, I uh, started just kind of monitor the table um, and so I didn't really want, you know, anybody to compare themselves to me and keep pushing to the point of uh, reversal of fortune, I guess we'll put it that way. Um, so I just kind of started to monitor, slow down a little bit, um, although I will say the judges definitely kept encouraging those to keep going and keep eating and yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
This was a super cool event though. The uh, Nigerian community were super friendly. Um, they are also so prideful and it was just so great to see them celebrate their culture, their heritage, and their different food and everything all on this day. I was honored to be there. Um, there was lots of uh, diverse ethnicities there, definitely other like Europeans. There was people of Asian descent. Um, it was really cool actually. It was and super great and uh, I would definitely love to go back as well. I don't recall if I had to sign a waiver or not, um, but definitely, like I said, there was no need to push anybody to the point of choking over a contest. I've had some serious chokes in my life, even during a contest, and guys, a little bit of money is not worth dying. <laughs> And it was a pretty good turnout for the contest. I believe there's about 14 participants, although I could not really fit them all in the frame. <laughs>
I gotta say, I had a jollof rice for the first time about a week ago, and it was so good that I figured I had to come get some more. I've been in Nigeria, in Houston, what beautiful people, what a beautiful culture, a beautiful event, and uh, I'm just so honored to be here. The uh, warmness, the, the hospitality of everybody here has been fantastic. This is an amazing event, and uh, it was an excellent food. So definitely shout out, Asso Rock. Wow. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I have one last question before I turn the mic over to the judges. Okay, where did all this rice go? Because I can see a lot of plates in front of you. And you don't look like you had any jollof rice at all. Where did you put all the rice? Well, it's all right here. We want to see everybody win. And a big thanks to all the organizers of the Nigerian Day in Houston. Great festival, a lot of great people, and overall, definitely a memorable event you should definitely check out next year in the future. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.